on this. Thank you. I'm Kevin from TWS Taiwan Web Service. Our company is quite unique. It is established uh, specifically for AI application. So, therefore, I had many opportunities to deal with implementation of AI in different industries. I would say that the computing model, the models uh, do create a lot of room for imagination in different industry. Take the financial industry, for example. It has been an industry that is actually labor intensive. So if we can use automation to replace uh, clerks or other uh, B2C, uh, B2C or even B2B analysis, that could be a great room for new solutions. Another good example is in the medical industry. We've mentioned traditional STP can help doctors in clinics. They can quickly translate text, for example. But in actually, uh, but actually, ATT, uh, they can encounter challenges as well because, for example, a 10-minute session with the doctor can yield a lot of conversation. So it can enable summarization. And uh, that, that's an interesting solution. We can uh, design or uh, set the agenda of the summary, and it can give you the highlight that you required. And also, for if we want to look at a, a symptom or a disease for a long term, AI can help us generate more data insight. Apart from these uh, scenarios, Taiwan, as we all know, is very powerful in uh, manufacturing capacity. So uh, in the past six months, I uh, encountered many application implication in uh, traditional manufacturing. So they are using LLM to help them uh, refresh uh, their uh, their code and their traditional machine learning model. So I'm happy to say from R&D to manufacturing to parameter to a quality check, we can get, gather a lot of data for analysis. Our LLM model is combined with machine learning to produce a metal fastener in a machine tools. It can help you analyze the first uh, process to the second to the third to some of uh, the small processing steps. So this is something very exciting for us to see. Apart from computing power that we've been talking about from the A, uh, from H100 to other models, we predict that the price of these uh, products will go down starting next year. So I believe um, businesses should make budget to uh, purchase uh, these products. And uh, uh, we at uh, TWS have some have uh, su supply some really good fine tuning tools for these uh, big standardized uh, model. And we, in the past, have helped a certain industry to do vertical fine-tuning, and the results are quite good. We've been working with a 70B model or even 8B model to uh, do uh, predictive uh, manufacturing process and to produce results uh, that are pretty good, that are quite satisfactory to business users. So for businesses, I have to say, the AI impact will only be uh, more uh, in significant in the future. So you can build your own business AI, and this uh, you can think of it like a brain for your company. And I believe we are soon going to see uh, each business creating their or designing their own brain. Today, uh, we are seeing a 70B and a 8B or even 405B of uh, a standardized model. The 405B is now reaching a level of ChatGPT 4 and all. 
So whether 405B can be run on edge, we're not sure, but I think possibility is quite high. 17B model is also quite common across uh, the businesses. I know that that's the case for uh, financial industry. I've been talking to Arthur today. And I so I know that in the future, the, the the GPU and CPU will become more affordable for average business to use, even uh, with traditional uh, business or some um, heavy industry can also introduce AI solution. Not to mention financial industry, medical industry, uh, AI solution. Uh, the model can help you not only organize the documents, but also do KYC. So from the model perspective to computing power perspective, I do see that the cost will become more affordable. And so the market will grow pretty soon. So I've been telling my customers to review their data, their data set. Having a large amount of data is n not good enough. You need to know your data well. You need to know how the data is uh, related to your daily operation. And if you know the relation well, you understand your data well, you'll be able to introduce AI solution quick. This is, I believe, a question that many businesses want to understand. Uh, whether you are a vertical business or a group business, whether you have a B2B or B2C business, I know a lot of businesses are already thinking about how to implement AI. They will look at computing power and their data set. I think um, computing power is the easy one because you simply spend money, make budget for it, and you can acquire the computing power you need. I believe all the Taiwanese business here is able to do that. As for data, uh, there is a common uh, problem with m many business here. They feel anxious about the models. Should they use open source model? Of course, I do see that open source uh, model have a lot of opportunity in the future for implementation. However, we are seeing new open source model every day. So how do we create a commercial product for traditional Chinese user? And it has to be trustworthy. So that's the problem, especially in the financial industry. They cannot, uh, uh, they are not allowed by law to directly use a model from Hugging Face. For example, they had the, the model that they use has to be rigorously tested for traditional Chinese users. So there will be some, uh, there, there could be risks that we take things too easily. We underestimated the risk. So I do think in the future, ICT businesses uh, will have um, opportunity in traditional Chinese uh, perspective. How do we fine tune the models? How do we iterate the model so it suits local users better? That could be an opportunity for us. And for if you are a business user, if you are a, uh, a buyer or someone who wants to use AI, you need to think about exactly what you want AI to do for you, what kind of problem you want it to help you solve. Do you want it to help you with the manufacturing process, with a quality check, or with a supply chain problem, or with sales and marketing? Or even uh, you want it to help you with operation or uh, managing ESG governance. You, you, you start from there to uh, uh, to decide which type of AI or model you want to use. So yes, it takes you. You need to pay to invest in uh, GPU and CPU. So you uh, then need to look at from the how how the, um, the AI solution will help you uh, in efficiency. What it means in terms of financial and accounting for 
manufacturing business, for example, the business leaders in this business care more about a uh, cost and the uh, cost and benefit. So maybe after this uh, deep analysis, you may realize only uh, only a handful of um, AI model is truly uh, making sense for you. So how much? Uh, which are the suppliers who can help you provide these handful of model and how external teams can provide enough uh, solution that you need. And then you look at how to select the model with the supplier of the AI model, how to train this model, how can you accomplish uh, your goal within uh, six months or uh, a year or two years. Especially for GPU, six months is one cycle, so you need to make a smart business uh, investment decision. So my suggestion for business is you start from the problem that you want to solve, and then you walk from you w work from there and uh, step and taking steps by step uh, process. And uh, AI uh, you can uh, actually ut utilize AI 1.0 and 2.0 interchangeably to create the best benefit for cost.